Hey everyone, this is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today's reading is called Show Me My Opponent, okay? And um, this could be a friend, a parent, an ex, any patterns within yourself that you need to change. Um, so it doesn't have to be an external person. As I was channeling some messages today regarding uh, the full moon in Taurus, I got the message that we should be very careful who we make an enemy in our lifetime because many of our perceived opponents are actually not worthy opponents, okay? They're not worthy targets for us to um, take on as an opponent. Now, I am very clear that there are some really rough people in this world and that, um, you know, and I don't think this whole world is rainbows and puppies and sunshine, okay? Um, and so I do think that there are people that are worthy of being named an opponent. Um, and we're going to find out in this reading. So this reading is called Show Me My Opponent. For those of you who've gotten tired of take, <clears throat> taking a little bit of too much shit from people, and sorry, I just had a granola bar, <laughs> so I got a piece in my throat, but for those of you that have grown tired of taking someone's shit or that you know deep down in your heart that this is not a good friendship, uh, a healthy relationship with a parent, an ex who keeps coming back or a current per partner or patterns within yourself that you need to work out. And, um, you know, sometimes we're our own worst enemies. Like we don't need anyone to be our opponent because we can do a fine job of that, right? So in this reading, we're going to explore that. And um, I thought it was a perfect time to do that with Halloween to kind of get into the darker side of things, okay? And to get into this full moon in Taurus in the um, during the Scorpio progression here that we're experiencing right now. I'll also do initials at the end of each reading so that you can really dial in on who this person may be so that you're not left second guessing. Now, please be responsible with this information. It doesn't mean that you need to write this off, this person off forever, but maybe you do. And I leave that up to you because you have free will, okay? And um, it might not be worth that. It might just be, you know, an opportunity to stay farther away from that person than you normally would, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and when I say show me my opponent, I mean somebody who doesn't wish you well, okay? And this might be hidden or secret knowledge. So let's go ahead and get into it. There will be no extended reading today, but you can look in the description box below for how to book a reading with me and also how to follow me on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. We have pile number one, which is the black tea light. We have pile number two, which is the green tea light, and pile number three, which is the red tea light. So pile one, two, and three. So please click the description box below to go directly to your pile. Of course, you're more than welcome to watch more than one pile if that's what you're feeling for yourself today. So let's go ahead and put the other piles aside and Let's go ahead and get into the reading. All right. So, spirits, angels, and guides, please help me channel the message for pile number two regarding their opponent. Show me who opposes them and show me who they should be wary of. Is it a pattern within themselves or is it another person, another entity? Please reveal the truth and um, we're also going to get advice for my pile number one, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Who is, show me your opponent, pile number one. Let's see who it is. Who's your opponent here? We have Watch Tower of the North, Winter. So this could be somebody who either you met in winter. I'm getting that you could have met this person in December um, at some point. And for some of you, it may be that you have yet to meet this person and you will run into them later or you will have another interaction with them in the month of December, okay? And that could be around the holiday holiday time is what I'm getting, all right? So this could be somebody who has a December birthday. This could be a Sagittarius or Capricorn here. We have, there are other ways, and then we have a box here, okay? So my feeling is that this person puts you in a box and really dulls down your world here, okay? Um, I'm gonna put the black tea light right here because you guys have the black tea light. 
So that this person really um, doesn't appreciate you for the array um, of just different, like they don't really appreciate your, appreciate your differences is what I'm seeing here, pile number one. And I don't think that this person really appreciates that people can have differences and it's okay to have differences. There are other ways, all right? Still pining, okay? So for some of you, this could involve a ex or um, a significant relationship. For some of you, this could be a family member. I just got sister for some of you here too. You may have a sister um, that, you know, and they're still pining in the sense that they still are trying to show you up or they're trying to prove you wrong or they're trying to dull your shine, okay? They still wanna do that and yeah, this is history. This is a person that you have significant history with and I do feel like this person has hurt you in the past. Okay, and I'm getting the letter E and the letter J here, all right? So your name or their name or initials, but I do think you have a history with this person and I don't think that they have ever really understood that you're just different and you don't do things the way that they do and that's fine. And it's like they still want to um, put their influence on you even though you know the time has come and gone for that. We have the seven of wands here. So I see that um, this person makes you feel very defensive, like you have to defend your life choices. I'm seeing the number six here, so we could have a birthday in June or just a birthday on the sixth of the year. Um, but I do feel like this person makes you feel defensive, okay? And I see that they take cheap shots at you. And they, so for some of them, they might even make comments about your body or like your, try to just take shots at your weaknesses, at what they perceive to be your weaknesses. And I really am feeling Capricorn energy here because I'm definitely being drawn to the knee area. So some of you may have had issues with your knee or they had issues with their knees, but I'm definitely seeing you having to be on guard and break yourself when you are in the presence of this person okay and I get the feeling they don't like the way that you do things pile number one and that's really um, where the crux of the matter comes from here and the nine of wands wow we have the seven of wands and the nine of wands so I feel like you have a history of um, and this person could have been cold to you in the past, insisting that their one way is the way to go. And I feel like you've had to be extremely defensive towards this person. And I can see that they have brought darkness into your life as well here. Um, and it kind of like, it kind of likes they infect your brain sometimes and they trigger you, even though you do your best to maintain your cool or to just kind of fly under the radar. I think this person eggs you on and brings it out of you, which is highly unfortunate for this type of person to behaving this way. And I see once they kind of get their tentacles in people, it's hard for them to let go and they just keep going, unfortunately, okay? There's a lot of defensive energy here. This person is still pining to kind of do something to you, I feel like. Fated to suffer, all right? So I, this person could be fated to suffer because of the way that they are and they wanna bring everyone down with them or they wanna bring everybody's vibe down or they want everyone to um, be as, you know, be as downtrodden as they are. It's like they don't want anyone to have any fun and they want people to put a lot of energy into defensiveness and maintaining, maintaining defensiveness, okay? I also think they can be very negative here with fated to suffer. We have fragmentation. So I do think when you're around this person and you guys could have a two year age gap between you, okay? I'm also seeing the number 212 or 217 here. So um, also somebody could have a birthday on the 31st of the year, okay? Some birthday on the 31st is what I'm seeing here too. But I do feel like this person, you know, it's like they, <laughs> They, they purposefully show you the negative side of things just to kind of bring you down to their level. And then they cause you to feel very fragmented and questioning. I see that you question yourself a lot, pile number one, as a result of the way that this person sort of presented life to you, okay? Their view of life, the way that they went about life. And for some of you, this could be a parental figure as well. The way that they presented life to you was not in accordance with 
divine will for how your life was supposed to go, okay? And it resulted in a lot of fragmentation and a lot of second guessing, okay? And not being sure, like being a big question mark at times. We have hold your center, number 34, but it came out reverse. Some of you could be 34 years old um, and you're finally discovering or around that age and you're discovering that when you go back to this situation, like it just brings you back and you find yourself kind of like slipping a little bit. It's very difficult to hold your center. I do see you expending a lot of energy here with the seven of wands and nine of wands to defend and hold your center, all right? Um, and I do feel like your guides and your angels are with you in this situation. They back you up. They try to shift your perspective to the bigger picture so that you're not mired down in the muck. Okay, pile number one. So I definitely feel um, there is somebody here who um, has a lot of history with you who likes to tell you like it's their way or the highway. Okay, we have awakened, but it came out reversed. And so I definitely think that, and it's card number one, which always reminds me of the magician. So I feel like this person confuses you, pulls you off your center, and then makes you like go back to sleep, if you know what I mean. Like, don't be, don't awaken to the actual truth of what's happening here. And I feel like they really confuse your crown chakra and they really make you feel like you can be asleep at the wheel. I, this person could also sap your vitality when you're around them too, like your physical vitality, because you're having to do so much here to basically fend them off, like their views, their attitudes, the way that they, um, the way that they think and explain the world and how they expect you to just go along with that is what I'm getting, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Um, Let's go ahead and see here. So what is the intent of this person towards my pile number ones? What is their intent? What are they intending to do to my pile number ones? What are they intending to do here to my pile number ones? We have the moon, like I said, the confusion. They intend to confuse you and to make things feel off to you. Now you could be a very sensitive person. You could have a Pisces moon or Pisces rising here. Um, or you could have had a parent that was a Pisces and was very sensitive on the outside as well too. But I definitely see, like I get cancer energy too, always with the moon. But I definitely see that this person tries to get you to mirror them a lot and to be exactly like them, validate their viewpoints, and basically keep score for them. And it's bullshit, right? Because you don't have to do that for anybody, right? Who does this person think they are to ask you to do that, pile number one, okay? So I see this person, their intention is to confuse, befuddle, and to um, like basically pull the wool over your eyes so that you'll just go lockstep with what they want here. Yeah, two of cups. I do feel like some of them, even if it's not, this isn't a romantic connection, I do feel like some of them could have affected your ability to form um, romantic connections because you don't trust as a result of this pile number one. And so it makes it very hard for you to see when someone's a true friend, a true romantic partner, or a just a true person in your life, it makes you very hard to see that. Yeah, five of wands, because somebody always wanted their way. They always wanted things under their authority. And I get the sense that even if this was someone that was like a sibling, for instance, like they, even if they were younger than you, like I, I still feel this vibe of them wanting things their way and um, being very like, you know, very, poor sports and very you know like what bitchy when it isn't about them okay when it's not about them and your agreements and you're not in agreement with them all right it's like they always just want you to mirror them two of cups here with the two dolphins they want you to mirror them and they want you to not take any issue with what they're saying all right, for some of you, this could be a friend that was like a sister or that you called sister, but I definitely feel that um, this person, I feel like sometimes they didn't mean to be confusing with the moon, but they are with the way that they act, okay? And they wanted you to mirror them, particularly when they were telling you like a sob story or telling you something that happened in their life 
or that they wanted your support behind unquestioningly, okay? It's like they just wanted you to be a yes man and validate them, all right? And they would get real ornery when you didn't with the five of wands here, real ornery. I'm getting the initial A here too, so if you or them have the initial A, um, you know, or as an Aries, take this double double, okay? What was this person, what was their intent here? What were they doing here, spirit? What were they doing? Three of Cups. So I think that they would also try to like play innocent and be like, oh, I was just having fun. Yeah, I insulted you. Yeah, I made you feel like your contributions didn't matter or you didn't matter, but I was just having fun. You know, definitely Cancer energy here with Mercury and Venus and Cancer. And this person could have accused you of being too sensitive as well. Like, oh, you're just too sensitive. You know, I was just having fun, right? But it's like their insults and their temperament lands hard on you because I think you care about this person, pile number one, or you did. Like I do see, I'm seeing like a line in the sand. So I do think that you've put some boundaries up against this connection. Um, but let's go ahead and see here for pile number one, what can pile number one do here to manage this situation? What can pile number one do here to handle this situation? Okay, we have Prince of Prince of Pentacles. And I was talking about managing here. And so it's Knight of Pentacles. So I think you just, when you deal with this person, you just have to be really slow to react and respond and not give them anything that they can work with. Okay. It's like become very stoic and almost like a Capricorn, become very stoic and do not allow them to basically drag you down to any kind of level. And I think you can think of excuses for how you can leave, how you can get out of the situation. I also think you could be very slow and kind of responding to them or going to see them or just going over there if you feel like you have to and then saying, I've got to run, you know, like I'm just, this is just gonna be quick and now I have to go. So I do see you kind of um, dragging things out away from them so that you don't have to spend as much time with them. What can pile number one do here? We have eight of pentacles. Keep your head down and work hard, right? Success is the best revenge. So you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I do feel this energy of you just continuing to bloom and blossom and grow and contribute and just slow and steady wins the race, pile number one. You just keep on pushing, right? You just keep going on that slow and steady race and you let things progress as, as they will come into fruition, okay? And you don't try to force anything. What else can pile number one do here? We have the hermit, yeah. So definitely withdraw your energy. And we have the two of pentacles here. So I do see that you guys are like night and day, oil and water, like a lot of times you just don't mix, okay? There's no mixy going on here. And I do feel like sometimes this person may try to belittle your success or make themselves seem better than you, all right? Which is doubly bad, pile number one. I think you just need to, as a good friend of mine would say, stay in your own lane, uh, pay attention, focus on the things that you need to focus on, keep your head down, mind your own business, and work, okay? And just work it out here. And I think that, you know, you have matured a lot from this situation, and I think that you're far less re reactive the thing than you used to be, but I also think there's a need for you to kind of find some ease in this situation too. And also take it easy on yourself, pile number one, if you've been hard on yourself, like you haven't done a good enough job with this, or you should have done more to kind of mend fences, or um, you've done good, okay? And you've done good enough, and you've done plenty good here with the Hermit, the Eight of Pentacles, and the King of Pen Knight of Pentacles. You have done good enough, and I do see you being responsible. I do see you um, acknowledging what's happened. I do see you on a quest to um, basically purify yourself and remove yourself from the situation and just keep yourself busy. And I think that that is excellent advice for you, pile number two, pile number one. I don't know why I said pile number two. Just keep yourself busy. Um, but also I'm feeling the need here to tell you to have some fun too with the people that you trust, only with the people that you trust, okay, pile number one. So I hope that that reading resonated for you. I hope that, um, it was informative as well. And actually we need to do initials, okay? So let's go ahead and do initials before we go here. For my beautiful pile number ones, can you show me the initials of the person who is their opponent? 
What are the initials here for pile number one? Let's let, let's take a look. What are some initials here? We have O. Oh, sex only. For some of you, this could be a person that um, an ex or someone you slept with in the past. We have K O Z. Okay. Someone you could have been very cozy with in the past, but you're no longer cozy with. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we get. We have G. We have go, right? Go. We have, okay, we have a Y. Let's see what else we can get here for initials. Who's their opponent? X run. Yeah, some of you, this is an X you need to stay away from. And maybe you run into them in the holidays when you go home over the holidays, but it's time to stay away from this person. We have V, A. I mentioned A earlier. There was definitely an A here, okay? Um, yeah, definitely an A. E, okay? And we have I. That's a lot of vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. All right, let's get one more here. We have J for Jupiter, so this could involve um, some type of Sagittarius. It's, impos it's, it's impossible sometimes to feel like you'll find joy with this person or that it'll ever be okay, but I do think that you just need to focus on your own joy. Um, I'm really wishing there was Zen out on the table here. We have Z-E-N, I wish we had the N. Um, but let's see, what else can we find here? We have... Uh, I wish we had the T for toy, like somebody is acting like a tool or a toy. Um, but you guys get the point. I think you get the point here. So I'm going to go ahead and close with those initials, pile number one. I hope that that was entertaining and informative for you, okay? Thank you so much. And if you're interested in a personal reading, um, do check out my description box for that, all right? So let's go ahead and move on to pile number two. Okay, so let's get into it. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. You have the green tea light here, and the question for your reading is show me my opponent, okay? And is this a friend, a parent, an ex? Is this a pattern within yourself that needs to be eliminated, okay? And I think it's very careful who we make an enemy out of in this lifetime because there might be people that are not worthy opponents of you, okay, pile number two? So you guys have the green tea light, so it's all about the heart chakra and healing the heart chakra. Let's get into it though. For my spirits, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of pile number two, please, and thank you. All right, so let's get into it. Show me my opponent, pile number two. We have ritual and invocation, all right? So um, this could be a friend group where you felt ostracized and not like you felt very a part of this group and then at one point, and then now there's just, there is, um, you don't feel that. You don't feel that sense of camaraderie or kinship. There could have been an interruption in this friendship. And that's kind of what I'm getting off the bat here, but let's go ahead. For some of you, this could be a same-sex connection where other people were involved is another thing I'm feeling. Call on your guides, all right? So your guides are saying, call on me. You're never alone. I'm always here for you. Look at this heart. You always have the green tea light too with the heart chakra. Your guides are like, there's so much love for you. There's no reason for you to feel alone, okay? And I do feel like you're healing from this, pile number two. Uh, we have yearning. So, you know, I do feel that whatever group that you were a part of or whatever relationship that you were a part of, I feel like this person is still yearning for you. They still think about you and we have soon here. So this person is trying to get in touch with you soon. The problem that I feel though, is that your guides and angels interrupt this connection. It's very tower-like energy because it's not exactly for you, right? And that's why, and it could be keeping you from your life path or from um, being more exact on your life path. You're never gonna be kept from your life path. I firmly believe that. But if you're really trying to get an A plus on your life path, like this person, I feel represents a distraction from that, all right? And we have here, we have Six of Cups. So I do think you had a past life connection with this person. I am feeling like a close friendship or romantic scenario here. Um, I do think that, you know, I'm seeing the letter C here and I'm seeing the letter X as well. I could take that as an X or just the letter, someone could have an X in their middle name or last name. Um, definitely feeling like maybe an Asian vibe with that too. 
I see the number eight. So I feel that if any of you have a birthday on the eighth or in the month of August, this could definitely be your reading. But I do get this sense that this person, um, they made you feel like needy, okay? Pile number two, like needy for their time, needy for their effort, needy for their energy. And this could have been uh, something that you played out with your parents if you were an only child or if you didn't get enough attention or if you were just left alone a lot. And I feel like this person makes you feel bad for what asking for what it is that you need, all right? And they take this weird parental versus you know, kind of parental vibe with you, even if you're in a romantic connection that I don't really appreciate here when I'm looking at this. Like, I don't appreciate how they're doing that. And I think when they ignore you and they don't pay attention to you, etc., it really rocks your world. And you're like, hey, notice me, right? Like, hey, notice me. Even if it was a parent that treated you that way as well. We have the queen of swords here. Yeah, so I do think this person could be very cold to you, pile number two. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, particularly a Libra energy here, which you could be or they could be. But I do think that this person could be very cold to you, very robotic to you, not showing you a lot of love and affection, all right? And I'm also seeing the letter H here multiple times, okay? So it, this person could be, um, like they could have really scary eyes sometimes or just look like they have no feeling in their eyes. Um, I do feel like sometimes, when you try to get to more of a depth of who this person is, you find out that there's not much there, okay? Um, and I do think that this person can be very cold, and I think that's also why you have the green tea light um, and you have your guides here offering you this heart and being there for you, right? And I, I see that, I see that here. We have envious gluttony, okay? So this person could have been very envious of you and could have wanted to keep you all to themselves and therefore were always dangling the carrot at you and asking you to how high jump higher right how high do you want me to jump jump higher I feel like this person um, was very like they knew what they were doing I can see it in their eyes I do feel like this person um, you know, like I didn't say this in pile number one, but I do feel like this person could have narcissistic tendencies, pile number two. And I think they could be very cold, very calculating. And I do think they know what they're doing with the queen of swords and envious gluttony here, okay? Um, and I do think that they're little um, troublemakers here with a look on their face. Like they like to see what, because they're jealous of other people and they think that other people they always kind of want to have power over others is what I'm seeing here. Obsession. Yeah, this person has a lot of obsession about the power dynamics and relationships. They're always looking at them and examining them. And therefore, they never really rest per se. Okay, they never really let it go or let it rest. And they're always on guard is what I feel. And they really do get a kick, I feel like, out of upsetting your apple cart by making you feel like you need something from them. And for some of them, they may have a power dynamic over you, such as money, a place to live, et cetera, is what I feel, okay? Spiritual service. Some of you are, I feel like, I feel this big time for you, pile number two. Some of you are like, why did I have to go through this? Why did I have to run into this type of person? And for some of you, you could be running into this type of person. If you had this kind of a parent, you run into people now like this when you're dating them, okay? And I feel like, you know, we have number 21 here. So some of you could be 21 years old or just waking up to patterns that you've had for a long time, 20 plus years here. And I feel like, you know, you're like, why did the, I have to go through this? Like, what was the point of this? And I feel like spirit is here to say, like you are here to honor this planet and to be in spiritual service here. That doesn't mean that you need to take bullshit from people, obsession, lying, like this person has no life, pile number two, because they spend all their time looking for your reaction or looking for others' reactions, and they're obsessed about what other people think of them, but they're very cold. They have a very cold heart, and I feel like you're here to embrace and open up your heart, and you're here to be of spiritual service to others, okay? And then we have here celebration. We have number six. So even though like you you grew up or you grew up in or you've been around in this very cold atmosphere 
where you felt alone, very remote, very divided from things, I see that you have still flourished. It's like that um, Tupac poem, the rose that grew from the concrete, right? I forget the exact name of it, but that's what I really feel here. Okay, and I am seeing the letter C again here, so that could be important for this. But I definitely feel like you have been supported by the universe anyway, and you have grown and you have done the work anyway, and your influence can be felt because a lot of times we don't think we have any influence, right? Like, oh, I don't have any power, I don't have any influence, I don't influence anyone. Touche, pile, you know, not touche. <laughs> How do I say that? Um, not cool, pile number two, because you do have, you do have influence, all right? Just you being here and your story and the way that you carry yourself and the way that you've managed to grow um, and leap towards the light, even though you've been in some dark circumstances is what I feel, okay? And for some of you too, you may have, um, I don't wanna trigger anyone, but I feel like for some of you, you may have had, um, you know, sexual trauma in your history, or you might have had some kind of, um, you know, just just having your, not having your needs met or being physically violated is also what I am sadly getting pile number two. And I'm so sorry if you did go through that. Um, if you didn't go through that, you could maybe have someone around you that did, but I'm getting Leo energy in this pile too. I think you've thrived and grown and been amazing anyway, in spite of everything that you've been through, which is why you're here in spiritual service. Not everyone gets that kind of assignment and not everyone gets that kind of help from the angels either. And I'm not saying that like everything happens for a reason. I'm definitely not. I'm not one of those people that's like, yeah, great. You know, all this shit happened, whatever. But I, you know, like you probably, we'd all been better off if a lot of the trauma that happened to us hadn't really happened, right? But I do think that you guys are here to help point others to the truth. And I do think that you're meant to turn your gaze upwards to the heavens. And I think you've been doing that for your whole life. And that's why you've been grown. And that's why people know you and know your journey, even if you don't think that they do, okay? Pile number two. So let's go into it here and say, show me my opponent here. Show me my opponent for pile number two. Show me my opponent. Ooh, we just had one pop out. We have temperance, daughter of the reconcilers. So I feel like this is pointing to um, a, a habit within yourself in the sense that you have this really powerful way of being able to bring people who have different views into, you're an alchemist, you can bring people with different views into alignment. But I also feel like sometimes too that you know, people took advantage of that about you. And I do feel like there could be some people pleasing energy um, in a sense that you have to um, do everything, right? And you're responsible for everything and that you have to do everything. And I think that if you feel that way, that's, that's like an inner thing. When I say, show me my opponent, that's something we want to work on within ourselves. And it's not to be mean to ourselves. It's just to know the truth. All right, pile number two. And I do see Scorpio and Capricorn energy here. Um, I also see Virgo. All right. So um, that's what I'm seeing. But I do think that, you know, and I think that this has made you angry at times. And I feel like although your guides have appreciated all the work that you've done for others, they also get, your guides and angels get real testy when you're not taking care of yourself the right way or when other people are attempting to use or draw on your energy. Okay, pile number two. So I feel that's coming out. Show me my opponent, pile number two. Let's see here. We have Nine of Cups, the Lord of Material Happiness. So Nine of Cups and Temperance are both very good cards. And I think, you know, you may have been denying yourself. Um, I get that there were real opponents, especially I feel in your early life or in relationships early on, pile number two. But I feel like you're doing better now. And I think your opponent here is just kind of your need to know yourself and know your own happiness and um, to take steps towards your own happiness, right? And don't be lazy about the things that you wanna do, all right? And don't, you know, 
make up excuses. If you want to do something, do it. If you want to go somewhere, go it. If you want to take a trip, take it, okay? And um, I am getting the letter B here as well. If somebody here has a B name or someone from your past, take it double, double. Also, Pisces is here too, okay? Show me my opponent, pile number two. Show me my opponent. Okay, we have the five of wands. So the Lord of Strife. So there definitely could have been a lot of fighting in your home. There could have been Leos in your home, um, some Leos or Capricorns in your home environment. But I feel like your peace was disturbed, which is crazy because pile number two, you are a very peaceful person and you are here to be in spiritual service and to celebrate life and the fact of how much you've grown and can help others as well. Okay, you are here to dance in the rhythm of life, but there was a lot of strife and a lot of negativity growing up around you that caused you to doubt your mission and caused you to um, get em embroiled in these kind of, get caught up in these, um, you know, hardships with others, okay? And a lot of it is ego. And I think you're realizing that, like, that the, a lot of this shit and a lot of this, you know, whose dick is bigger kind of games, it's a lot of it is the ego, right? And you want to rise above that. Okay, so we have the world card, the great one, and the knight of time. So again, I feel like this is co coinciding with the spiritual service here. And like I said, Virgo energy um, with that. And I do feel like you know, your world got bigger, okay? Like after you left whatever environment you grew up in and found more of your own peace and happiness, your world got so much bigger. And the service and the level of work that you're able to offer others is astounding. Here's my six of wands, Lord of Victory. So you guys have prevailed over circumstances. And I can see that you have expanded uh, for those of you that are Leos that have gone through this journey, it's like you went through this extreme hardship only to come out on top and be the winner, all right? Only to come out on top and basically walk around with your head held high. Good for you, pile number two. I love that. I absolutely love that. I think you guys are nailing it. I think you guys are, this is, this is good stuff here, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Um, what can pile number two do here? What can pile number do, two do here to work on healing and let go of this? What can pile number two do? We have five of cups, Lord of loss and pleasure, and this is Mars and Scorpio energy. So um, five of cups, so grieve your losses, grieve your hardship, and don't be afraid of those feelings. It's okay. Um, I actually, you can find it on Etsy. There's a little um, shop. And for those of you that want the name of it, I can link, link it below if someone pipes up in the comment and says that they want to know. But there's a little bottle of, it's like in this witch shop and it's called Good Grief. And it help, helps you, you just put these drops in the water and it helps you um, kind of let your grief come to the surface so that you can process it. I have a hard time taking it at times because um, I take it every, not because it's too strong, it's just that I need to kind of like have a day where I can be my, myself and just kind of go through things if I take it, but it works, it really works. So if some of you are needing to grieve the past and let go before you can really reach for that nine of cups temperance energy, okay? So we have here, we have the wheel of fortune, Lord of the forces of life. So I do feel like for some of you, you need to travel. Some of you may need a trip to Egypt or have Egyptian descent in your background, but I definitely feel there is this need to travel, maybe to Mediterranean countries or that you will meet someone there that's important to you and part of your destiny, all right? And um, I do think it's important. You guys have a lot of Jupiter energy in your reading too, which is Sagittarian energy. It's important to... Um, really just amp up your uh, yourself, like talk yourself up. And if you need to move, if you need to physically move locations or just get up and move, it's really important that you do that, right? And I think that optimism that sort of fuels you forward, that hope and faith in the future that things are all happening and it's okay, like that's what's gonna take you forward here. The magician, yeah, some of you guys, 
I mean, you can't let this shit hold you back, pile number two, because some of you guys are extremely talented. Alchemists, you have Temperance, the Magician, and the Wheel of Fortune here, and the World card. Some of you are very destined to bring a spiritual service to this lifetime, to others, to help others grow, okay? And it's very important that you work through some of these issues so that you can even you can be even more victorious you can grow even more and some of you may have the name victoria as well or you may have a victoria in your life that has been that to me is always a leo name i actually have a leo friend named victoria so um but i do feel this need to expand and grow and keep having new experiences and traveling and having this optimism towards life even if it started off hard Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there with respect to the tarot. And let's go ahead and take an initials here for my pile number two. So if you see your name here or a person that really affected you, then you can know like their initial or your initial, you can know even further confirmation. This was for you. Okay, so let's get into it. Pile number two. Show me your opponent. Pile number two. Show me the opponent here. Okay, we have P. We have children, so some of you could be parents here, or this, actually, I was tapping into your childhood for some of you, so a lot of this could have happened when you were children. We have P-U, stinky, right? We have O, P-O, X, okay, so some of you could have children with an X and you need to move away from that, somebody that you were married to, somebody that was very hurtful. Some of you could have been in very narcissistic marriages in the past or relationships that almost got to that level of marriage. Let's go ahead and see what other initials we get here. Let's go ahead and get in there. Okay, we have G, go. We got go in the last reading too. X, I had X earlier as an initial, which is interesting. We have M, all right? So if we had two, if we had another M, we would have mom. So for some of you, this could, you could have had a very challenging mother, okay? We have D, we have dogs. Maybe some of you have dogs, all right? And animals are very comforting as far as unconditional love, especially if you felt that that was absent or missing from your life, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else we get here for initials. Okay, we have I and we have Y, all right? So, um, Yod, that's a thing in astrology. For those of you that do astrology, Yod is a configuration in astrology. It's called the finger of God, okay? For those of you that have a Yod in your chart, um, go ahead and look. You, I don't know. Some of you need to get your charts read, okay? You need to get an, uh, and if you need a referral for an astrology reading, let me know because there are some amazing astrologers that I can refer you to um, that have good prices as well, okay? That are very, very wonderful astrologers. Okay, so let's get into it. We have dim. So I do feel like this person could have tried to dim your light, which isn't going to happen, pile number two. It's not because you, you are who you are here. And then we have an R, okay? And for some of you, I feel like this could be a sister um, and could be somebody with the initial R. Um, just for some of you here, we also have the name Roy. Um, okay, we could do a ton of combinations here. Um, dip dip you got to dip on out of there okay pile number two you got to dip out of there i hope that that um i wonder i thought we had an e out here i'm getting rogue too like some of you probably went rogue and went off on your own to just do your own thing and good for you if you did that good for you i'm also getting the name david if that name makes sense to you as a father or a ex-partner, then take this message times 1,500, okay? Because I just got that um, from Spirit, okay? So let's go ahead. Thank you so much, pile number two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I really enjoyed reading for you guys. You guys are, you guys are some stellar human beings, okay? So let's go ahead right now and we will get into the energy of pile number three. Okay, let's get into it. We have the red tea light. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the red tea light. And we are looking at the energy today of show me my opponent, okay? So this could be a friend, a parent, an ex, or just patterns within yourself that you need to evolve and change, all right? And there's this concept of needing to choose our enemies carefully because not everybody is a worthy opponent, okay? Pile number three, not everyone is worthy to have that kind of a status or title in your life. 
don't get me wrong, there are some people that deserve that title. <laughs> um, but we wanna be careful, especially for those of you that practice any kind of magic or witchcraft. If you're doing hexing, I'm cool with hexing. I don't have an issue with it, but just make sure you choose a worthy opponent, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please help me channel the energy of pile number three. Show me their opponent, okay? So let's go. We have awakening, embolic, but it was turned upside down, okay, when I pulled it out. So I do feel like somebody could have been stalling you out in your life from awakening and fully blossoming into the person that you were meant to be. Um, and this could also be a pattern within yourself too, where you pull back as soon as you're getting ready to spring forward, you pull your energy back. We're gonna explore it, okay? Not what it appears. So I do feel like some of you could think that this is a specific person. And for some of you, you need to know it's not always what it appears. I am seeing the initial M and N in here. It's not always what it appears. And sometimes it's, it's deeper. I do feel the need for you guys to go deeper into why this is. We're, we'll get into it. Yeah, here's patience. Okay. So there's this need to reflect upon um, patience. And now I think this person could have forced you to be more patient and could have forced you to take stock of what it is that needs to happen in your life. And at the time, you probably felt that was very unfair. Definitely getting Libra energy and Aries energy here. Uh, Taurus energy too. I do feel like you could have felt like somebody making you you know, and I'm not saying they did right by you. I am definitely not pile number three, but I am getting that you did get something out of it, which was learning to be more patient. All right. So we have, and self love. There we go. Like there is something like by this person holding you back. Okay. For some of you, you, this could be an ex lover, someone that you worked with, and it could be like somebody that was at your job or somehow connected to your job or you met through job contacts is what I'm getting, okay? And this person, you might have felt at the time that when after some time that they were holding you back from awakening and becoming the person that you are. But actually, this whole relationship was there to, to tell you, uh, to teach you about patience and self-love. Are they right for doing what they did? No. Do they deserve a free pass for that? No, okay? But Spirit is also urging you here to look at you know the deeper end of things, the, the um, deeper end of the pool here, okay? We have Empress energy. I'm also getting Cancer energy in this pile too. So here's the Empress. So we have the self-love and patience, which is total Empress energy. For some of you, I'm also getting that you were going to, um, you thought that you were gonna have a child with this person or a family with this person, and they might've held you back from that. And you're like, how freaking dare you? Like, you know, you wasted my time, you sucked. Like, I thought we were doing this together. And, you know, I thought I was going to be a mother or a father. We were going to have children, et cetera, or just have a family if it wasn't children. And I feel like you could have felt that this person wasted your time. All right. Definitely having to do with a child. And for any of you that lost a baby, um, either because you chose, you know, or just you chose to um, terminate a pregnancy or you lost a baby, uh, my condolences to you guys and um, for having to go through that. And um, I do think it's important for you guys to talk and share your feelings with others about this. Some of you may keep things bottled inside and I think it's important for you to let that out. Sacred cloud, yeah. Some of you just need to let things out and let things go more. And I do think that this is also a very odd match here. You have the empress with a clown, okay? And sorry, but um, <laughs> I mean the fool, the sacred clown in this deck is the fool. I don't have any issue with the fool, but I don't, okay, I also don't think that the fool has much of a business being with the empress romantically. I'm just not seeing that as a match, okay? And I'm getting the, I'm getting the number 618 in the initial L, okay? So if you have an area code of 618 or 618 is a number that resonates for you, then that is, or you, yeah, 618. I'm definitely seeing this 618. But look at this. Okay, this fool over here 
has basically, I feel like you're not the only person that they've done this to. I feel like they have tried to um, take the crowns of other men or other women before, and they have tried to through their games, through their manipulations. Um, and I also get that they like, they hide what's going on inside them, okay? And they have a real problem with their solar plexus. They could also have issues with their digestion at times. But I do feel like this person, and I'm seeing Florida here too, for some of you um, that are located in Florida. I'm also seeing the number 60 as well, okay? So I do think that, um, you know, this person's very blind to what they do sometimes, but they're like, yeah, you know, they're like, I'm cool. Look what I can do, you know? Like they, I think they're kind of a weird little pissant show off. And I do think that this is not, a person befitting of an empress, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting here. We have triumph of lies. So I definitely feel like this person could have lied to you. They could have told you a bunch of shit. Look at the crown again, okay? Like they kept their crown on the whole time they were lying to you. And then they came over here trying to steal your crown. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But I get here for this empress that she was always, or he was always, holding the missing piece of the puzzle for this person, even though they couldn't really see that. And that could have been very frustrating for you, pile number three, and cause you to have a lot of, you know, patience here, having to exert a lot of patience with this person. Today for tomorrow, so we could have Gemini energy here too in this pile, but I definitely feel like this person would take you along on a ride with them and they would just be like, hey, just let's go do it. I feel like they would distract you sometimes from the shit that you were trying to do. We have the awakening card reversed and that they would distract you with their, you know, ups and downs and their volatility. And they would also lie to you a lot. Like you never knew what was true, what was coming out of their mouth. And I do feel like, you know, they acted like a child at times. This person could have had an age difference. And if they didn't, they were just acting like a damn child. Okay. Is what I'm getting. They're making me mad. Number 32, divine grace and the law of efficiency. So Gemini Virgo energy, I feel here. But, you know, this law of efficiency and divine grace really goes with patience, okay? Because if we are going to just trust that things are going to happen in divine time and that things will come in when they will and that, you know, we shouldn't let our faith be shaken by these situations and that we have to be bold in pursuit of what we want but other people also have their own paths okay and if we can't force someone to be on our path and we can't force the timing on anything but we can continue to do what we can do um in order to move things forward okay and that's something that's a lesson of not abandoning yourself okay pile number three um, and then we have here, we have unconditional love, number 34. So there's definitely, with this card, I always feel like there's alien energy, like there's alien energy around you. You could be a star seed, an empath, pile number three, psychic, intuitive, but you do have this um, unconditional love and it comes from your sacral chakra up to your heart chakra, up to your throat chakra. And I do feel like you are good at expressing um, how you feel. And I do feel you're a very loving human being, pile number three. I do feel that. And if you weren't good at expressing yourself before, you're gonna become better at it. And I do think you're gonna become better at your own self-talk and holding yourself in unconditional positive regard most of the time, okay? Like sometimes we all have bad days. It can't, you know, <laughs> we'll be realistic. It can't be constant, but I do feel like this energy of unconditional love is, is upon you in your life. And, you know, that is your best defense against any opponent is the unconditional love that you have for self and others. And sometimes you have to put yourself first with the self-love card here, pal number three, you need to be putting yourself first. Okay. Some of you could have had something major happen to you when you were 34 here as well. All right. Um, some of you could have lost a lover or spouse here is what I feel. All right, so let's go ahead. Show me for pile number three. Show me their opponent for pile number three. Show me their opponent. Pile number three. Show me their opponent. Knight of Wands. Okay, this is someone who's far too reckless, 
far too immature, somebody who doesn't give a shit, somebody who could be younger than you. It could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Um, but I definitely feel like this person was off their rocker half the time. They didn't know what they were saying. They didn't know what they were doing. They were trying to get you to follow whatever edicts they were pronouncing and making. And I could see that this person was very charming and exciting to you. And they could have been very like drawn you in with that type of energy. But I think as soon as they draw it in, they also spit it out, which is unfortunate with this person. They don't really have staying power and they have the attention of a fruit fly. So who is that, right? Who is that for you, pile number three? Show me your opponent. Pile number three, show me your opponent. Okay, we have the nine of cups. So um, I also feel like, I like the nine of cups normally, but I also feel like it could be your tendency to just go along with what any anyone is serving up to you, okay? And to be a willing participant in somebody's, you know, machinations is what I'm getting here. So you're like, I'm open for business, baby. Like, you're like, I want you. And so there was enthusiasm from your end um, regarding this connection. And for some of you, you could be waitresses or you work in the restaurant industry also is what I'm feeling. You could have met this person at work. But what I really feel here is that you, this person would enroll you in what it is that they were doing and how they were thinking and how they were wanting to move in the world. And you would just kind of go with it because you're like, this person makes me happy. So you would just kind of roll with it. Okay, we have nine of swords here, but then they always like, where are we going here, nine of swords? We're going to crazy town because this guy is taking off here with all this shit. And it looks like the skeletons and the remains of you know random shit and the water is very choppy here and it's very windy um and i do think that there's this this image for me here of this person kind of abandoning you at the height of when things were just trying to go good right it's like you would entertain their energy you guys would have a thing it would start to feel good and then they would just dip out as soon as things actually started to feel good. And it wasn't this energy of unconditional love. Now, I think it could have made you feel very um, anxiety prone and nervous, all right? Regarding the way that this person would treat you or talk to you is what I'm getting, okay? Now, show me your opponent, pile number three. Show me pile number three's opponent here. Okay, we have six of wands. So I do think that this person could be very cutting with the way that they would speak to you. And I do think that at times they would be very prideful, riding on their high horse. Like they would just want others to go along with them. Um, I do think that they could be just, you know, like they could make fun of you that you weren't keeping up with them or you weren't as strong as them. I do feel like this person gets off on like how powerful they are and how, you know, this person, if they had a, you know, fight, flight, uh, freeze, you know, all those different trauma responses, this person's a fighter. And they also, you know, don't mind making other people wrong just so that they can look good. Six of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Like they they can make people worry and get confused and then they themselves walk around like they don't have anything going on. They walk around like they're just fine, you know? Which is crazy to me, that's absolutely crazy. Let's see, show me your opponent, pile number three. Show me your opponent, okay? Um, I almost want to get out of their energy. I'm like, I'm done with their energy. Look at this shit. Five of Pentacles. Okay, this person steps on others. Literally, this person is stepping on the heads of skulls here. This person is stepping on others to get ahead. They will make others feel like they're lacking, like they're not good enough, like they've done all these things wrong, just so they can keep themselves feeling good. Like you have to be a real piece of... I'm sorry, a real piece of crap to do that to another person, okay? Um, and I, this person doesn't really care who they step on either as long as they get what they want is also what I feel. And they could be very charming at times with the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. And they could be fun at times, but they, you know, they quickly, they quickly just, you know, turn things into shit by the way that they switch on a dime just when things were starting to go good, all right? And that's, that's why we have the fool here, the fool with the empress. It's not cool, okay? What can my pile number threes do in this situation? Assuming you even still talk to this person or know them, what can pile number three do in this situation? 
we have the high priestess yeah you just you go above you rise above this and you just stay in unconditional love you stay in your power you stay in your strength as my friend would say you stay in your own lane and you do your own shit and you study and you work and you train all right to be the best priestess that you possibly can be um, read a book write a letter anything that basically doesn't involve them you take your energy offline from this person okay when I see the high priestess here I'm thinking this is like a no contact type of a thing okay this is someone where after you talk to them there's always some shit all right but let's go ahead and see what can pile number three here do in this situation Knight of Cups. So this person, I had a feeling this card was going to come up when I chose to read with this deck. All right. This person could come trotting back into your life many times. Um, for some of you, this could be someone with a Latin descent as well here, or you could be interested in someone with a Latin descent. But for some of you, you need to give others a shot and you need to, not everyone is going to be like your ex and you may feel that way or not everyone's going to be like, your current person that you're with. Other people could be very different. I'm also seeing the letter E here as well. Um, but I think, you know, you're, you're starting to become and see more clearly how people can wear a false mask in connections with others. And I think that you're becoming more, um, just more aware of that is what I'm seeing here. But not everyone's like your ex and you may kind of be, thinking that that's going to be the case and you might just need to kind of back down from relationships here for a bit while you kind of get sorted what should pile number three do here we have the five of wands yeah for god's sakes let's not get into another pissing match we, we have fire here and then we have this person's about ready to light a match so you know refrain from reaching out to this person, stay in your own business and don't start anything up with this person, okay? Don't start anything you can't finish, pile number three. And particularly if you think it's going to weigh on you emotionally and cause you to get stuck emotionally, okay? So this person may come trotting back in to see what's up. Here's the fool again, right? Here is the fool again. Yeah, this person may try to come trotting back into your life, but guess what? They say the same shit as they did before, and they act the same way that they did before. I am not seeing a lot of change in this person. And um, they got a lot of work to do. They're the page of wands here. They don't even know how to handle fire really yet. Like this page doesn't even have any fire. They just have like a little miniature wand here. So they need to learn how to handle their shit before they can even step to you. All right, pile number three. So you remember that. Now let's go ahead and get Let's get some initials. Show me my opponent. So if your initial or their initial comes up here, then this is definitely for you. So pile number three, show me your opponent. Let's get some initials going on here. Okay, we have B. I said B earlier. Yeah, we have C. We have I. Wow, that's looking like we might have a bitch here. <laughs> we have W. We have M, right? bitch witch <laughs> some of you might be a bitch witch that's cool if you are i'm kind of a bitch witch all right let's go ahead and see what else do we got here yeah i was feeling n i was definitely feeling n here n and a all right those are two names there we have q so somebody here could be queer or just have q in their name um, or just identify as queer that's cool um we have man right yeah, we have man. So somebody here needs to grow up and act like a man or somebody here was acting like a man and the other person wasn't. But um, we have big, right? Somebody thinks they're a big man. Yeah, you're a big man about town, right? <laughs> That's annoying. Um, we have V, okay? And we have, we have Massachusetts here too. So some of you could be dialed in from the East Coast here. Um, we have X. I feel like some of you could be gig workers too or work in technology, some kind of technology or computers. Um, and then we have Y, okay? Like why, why did this happen? Okay, that could definitely be a question. We have MN, we could have Minnesota people here too, coming in hot. We have Jupiter, okay, jam, that's my jam. Jupiter is my jam. And we have H ham okay some of you could be vegan or not liking to eat pigs or some of you could be ron swanson level meat eaters um either way i feel like both um energies could be in this pile we have ha 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 right to your person get out of here fool 
So <laughs> I hope that that, I also have cig here. So somebody here could smoke cigarettes or vape um, is also what I feel here. We have the, we have J as well as a name, J, okay, J. So um, let's go ahead guys and close out the reading. And I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're into my channel. Um, refer others to my channel. I have so many readings on my channel. I have pick a cards galore. I've got, um, you know, Vimeo, I've got my Vimeo channel where you can go to the extended readings, which most videos do have extended readings. I have personal readings that I give as well to people. So thank you so much, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed your reading and take care, my friends. Have a great Halloween.